Hey, this is Rito. So I found this uh, pretty cool trick on how you can translate a PO file that you might use for uh, WordPress uh, to just have a plugin in a different language. So what I used to do is I, I used to use the PO edit um, software, which allows you to also, you know, do all the translations here. Now, instead of doing that, or at least to have like a, a foundation of a automatically created translation, you can also use the Google Translator Toolkit as stated in this article here. Now, let me show you how it's done. So basically you go to the website translator.google.com slash toolkit, and then you can upload here your document. So I clicked on the upload button. I've added the document that I want to translate. It asks me for the source language here and which language I would like to uh, translate that to. So I'm going to select German, going to hit next. And now uh, the system is analyzing or it's uploading the document and analyzing the document. And here we go. And now that this is the critical part, right? It, it asks me like, hey, do you, do you want to have this uh, translated by this vendor? It's going to cost you $1,100. And no, I don't want to do that. I want to translate myself. So here's the important part to click on no thanks. And now you have the document in here. So you want to click on it, actually double click on it. And then it opens up. And here you have the option to start translate the document. So for instance, uh, let me see, I'm just going to scroll down here a little bit. Once uh, it's still loading. Oh, or even, even with that automated uh, translation here, you could download that right away and then, you know, finalize it in a, a PO editor, for instance. So, You can see that here. Now, if, if you would say, oh, I, I don't want that here translated, then you can say, hey, copy translation from here uh, and, and so forth. So like I said, you, you can do it in here. You can save it and then you can, if you, um, if you, let me check if you save it. And if you click here, show, sorry, I lost track. Oh, here we go. Uh, here, file, download. You can then download the document. Uh, it starts to download. And then, like I said, you can use the PO editor to basically finalize the translation. Right, so, and then you can go in here and you can see everything has been uh, translated automatically. It, it's, it might not be perfect, but at least you have a really good uh, foundation you, you can now start working with. So here, as you can see, um, actually that's fine. I was wondering because the placeholder wouldn't show here, but I guess it just shows here. So. Yeah, it's, I think it's, it's very helpful to, to have that and, and to start working with it. So I hope that helps. Um, good luck with it. And let me know uh, if you have any, any questions or, or if you encounter any issues uh, with that little trick here. All right, take care and I'll talk to you soon.